on this edition of Titans All Access. The Titans are headed to the AFC Championship game in Kansas City. Take a look back at Tennessee's win over the Chiefs from November 10. Take a look ahead to round two as General Manager John Robinson has his keys to a Titans victory in KC this Sunday. The Titans eliminate the top-seeded Ravens. Take in the sights and sounds of last weekend's victory. Titans Radio's Dave McGinnis goes beneath the surface on the team's momentum moments from Baltimore. Titans linebacker Rashawn Evans continues to give the Titans massive efforts each week. Evans is featured in this weekend's Nissan Insider with Amy Wells. This is a jam-packed show during a huge week. Let's take a huge swing as Titans All Access starts now. Hard work, putting in hard time, no sleep. That's the way we grind. Show up, everyday showtime. Show up, everyday showtime. Hard work, putting in hard time, no sleep. That's the way we grind. Show up, everyday showtime. Show up, it's everyday showtime. He's in trouble. He's sacked! Taken down by Wesley Woodyard. 69 yards. Derek Henry. Touchdown! Touchdown! Tight Tennessee will not go quietly. Throw your hands up in the sky. Welcome to Titans All Access. With Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. We're glad you're here, and we're glad to be talking about an AFC Championship game upcoming. Can you believe it? First time in 17 years. That's so great. It is so great. We're going to talk about the AFC Championship game. We're going to break it down. But let's take one look back at the win that got the Titans oh. to the AFC Championship game. In Baltimore, nobody gave them a chance. And what did they do? They beat them. They won. Here are the sights and sounds from the divisional round victory at Baltimore. <laughs> My boys, it's simple, man. It's us versus them. Uh-huh. We want that to get more. Uh-huh. I promise you, I got y'all boys. Let's go ride for each other. Nothing's f-ing different, bro. Look how we won last week. We were just us. I know it's the playoff. I know it's a big game. I know it's more cameras. Make your f-ing play today. Don't be afraid of the moment, bro. The Tennessee Titans in the AFC Division are about to go to the AFC Championship. Yes, it's already yeah, ready. Man. It's already ready. Hey, one block. This hey, is your moment. Your moment. Oh. Go enjoy it. Oh, hey, we're the best for a reason. It's a stick up. Make sure everybody feel it. Nobody need to feel without being turned Everybody leave everything you got. Bring that passion. Bring that energy. Let's bring it. Let's go. Bang, bang on three. One, two, three. Bang, bang. The Titans are big underdogs as they face a team that went 14 and 2 in the regular season. But this isn't the regular season. It's one game in the tournament for a chance to play for the AFC Championship. Divisional round, AFC playoffs in Baltimore, underway. Hey, we're going to all have to be locked again. It's f***ing loud, but they'll get quieter when we make plays. Titans got the football, picked up a first down, then had to punt. And now Baltimore's initial assault in this game. Second down and 10. In the shotgun, Jackson. Looks, Jackson fires down the middle, ball tipped, and intercepted, fired. 20, 30, fired 35, fired his run out of talk about playoff football, you talk about getting this deep into the tournament, field position and turnovers are huge, Mike. They're huge. Third and goal at the 12. Tannehill takes the snap. Pressure comes late. Tannehill throws the fade, left side ball up and caught. Is it inbounds? Yes! Touchdown, Titans! Jonu Smith tips it to himself. What a play! (laughs) What an outstanding play. That's the kind of plays you have to make, Mike in the playoffs. Let's go! 
And now here's what we've got. You've taken a little bit of steam out of this. Now you're going to have to withstand this next onslaught offensively. And they are going to go on fourth and one at their own 45. They snap it. Jackson running to the right. He is stacked up and pushed back. I do not know. Hey, he's short. He's short. He's short. He does not have it. First down, Titans. Let's go. Let's go. Titans take over officially at the Ravens 45. Leading seven to nothing. A chance to build on that advantage. Tannehill under center. Play fake. Tannehill looking, throwing deep downfield, going for Raymond, who's there. Can he hold it? Yes! Touchdown, Titans! Khalid Raymond! Let's go! What a great call by Arthur Smith in a sudden change situation. Big fourth down stop. Play action, max protection. Put your speed guy just split in the post, going down the middle. Great throw, great catch. Nice job of hanging on when he hit the ground. We gotta keep the tempo going. Hey, hey, now we got pressure on these. Keep the tempo up. Eric, we're gonna need you to break the and will. See what this Titans defense has. Gonna try to keep it around right in. He's stacked up and he's dead. Jackson pumps. Sack! Correa! Sack! Taken down by Casey. So the Ravens get three, and quite frankly, that's a win for the Titans. We talked about getting this game to the third quarter within striking distance. We're in the lead. Now here it goes. This is what you wanted. Now let's go. Let's go. Let's finish. Let's finish, my folks. Fourth down and inches outside the Titans, 17. Quarterback. Quarterback sneak. Yeah, quarterback boot. Jackson tries to go around the right side. Trapped in deck. He does not have he didn't get it, he didn't get it, he didn't get it. He's short, he's short! Big man ball out here. Hey, that's big, oh, man, man. That's, that's, that's big. Give Henry breaks a tackle, 30. Henry 40, Henry 50, Henry 40, Henry 30, Henry 20, Henry 10, Henry down at the eight yard line. Knock a hole! Keep that man! Direct snap, Derrick Henry throws it, jump pass in the end zone. Touchdown, Titans! Henry to Corey Davis! Oh my goodness, that play is from the 1800s! That's a jump pass, jump pass for the ages right there. That's what it's doing! He holding it. What I'm saying is like, once we stop this run, y'all get some sacks. Jackson from his 25, under pressure. Grabbed, hit, fumbles, ball is loose. There's a fight for it. Simmons is at the bottom of the pile fighting. Tight ball! Yeah! Let's go! Casey got it out, and Big Jeff starts wrestling a Raven, and he wins. Didn't I tell you you're going to make one? Didn't I tell you you're going to make one? Did you call it? I told you. 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 Because he's had it. He's had it. Tannehill running the option, keeping. Tries to turn it up, dives in! Touchdown! Keep going. No let up. There's a lot of time left. No let up. In momentum moments, Dave McGinnis, the Titans have come through. Hey, we can get a pick right here. Great eyes, KB. Blitz coming. Jackson firing. Intercepted Vaccaro. Picks it off in front of Boykin. And the Titans get their third, third, third takeaway of the night. Yeah! What's up? The Tennessee Titans have shocked the world coming into Baltimore and upsetting the number one seed in the AFC decisively. We ain't done. Right, no, no, we ain't done. Hey, the story continues, baby. Keep this shit up, man. That same mentality. Yes, sir. We gonna go all the way. Oh, Love we believe in each other, yes, bro. Yes, yes, we, all, we all we got. Yes, hey, Titans on three. One, two, three. Titans! There's still a lot more to come right here on Titans All Access, including Beneath the Surface with Dave McGinnis. We're going to have momentum moments. Say that three times fast. No, but I can say it's next. There it is. Welcome back to Titans All Access. This is Coach Mack, game day color analyst for Titans Radio. Today, we're going to go beneath the surface and look at two huge fourth down stops and the ensuing touchdowns 
that proved critical in this big playoff victory over Baltimore. First play we're going to look at here, it's fourth and one. The ball is on the 45-yard line. This is a quarterback power run. Watch the Titans as they set up. The edge gets set perfectly. Look at the knockback on the left side of the Titans defense. And the key here, watch David Long trigger and get right through that little rabbit hole to get on the quarterback. Huge stop on fourth down. The ensuing play after that big fourth down stop, this is a tremendous, tremendous call by Arthur Smith. This is being aggressive after a sudden change. Khalif Raymond is down here in a numbers minus five split. Watch the max protection that puts Humphrey man to man on Khalif Raymond. Sets him up beautifully with a nod outside, breaks to the post. Ryan Tannehill launches the ball, perfect spiral, not only extending in the end zone, watch him maintain possession throughout contact with the end zone. This was a huge play. The Titans have already shocked this defense. Second fourth down, it's now 10-13, 14-6. Now that the Titans are in a solid front all the way across the board. This again, they're going to put the hands in their playmaker, Jackson, as the ball is snapped. Watch everybody trigger. Watch, watch Wesley Woodyard right here as he starts to creep up, forces Jackson to come back. The edge is set on the right side of the Titans defense. This is a tremendous job by Harold Landry. Watch him squeeze down the line of scrimmage, face the quarterback up, another huge fourth down stop. This is the culmination of the series following this huge fourth down stop. The Titans now, look what Arthur Smith has done. Marcus motions out. Derrick Henry now is in the Wildcat. They run a power look for the run. You can see the Ravens are now playing the run all the way with Henry. Henry now has two options. He can either throw it to Marcus Mariota, who has moved wide open. You can see Marcus wide open out here, but he throws a nice touch jump pass for the ages to Corey Davis right at the goal line. Touchdown Titans, the Tennessee Titans. Two huge fourth down stops, and not only the fourth down stops, but they were also able to capitalize with touchdowns in this football game. This went a long way towards this monumental playoff victory against the Baltimore Ravens. When Titans All Access returns, it's time for the Nissan Insider with Titans linebacker Rashawn Evans. Next. Welcome back to Titans All Access. Time now for our Nissan Insider. Amy Wells, you had the honors. I did. I took over this week's Nissan Insider because I had a very specific question for Rashawn Evans. Oh, okay. How in the world do you not get exhausted when you're playing 20 weeks of football? Yeah, this is week 20, this isn't is it? This is week 20. And so I had to know how he stays locked in and focused throughout all the noise. Check this out. <laughs> Week after week, we keep hearing about how dialed in and focused this team is. How do you maintain that level of focus and intensity week after week? I would say just knowing the task at hand, knowing that you know everything is on the line at this at this point. You lose a game, you go home. You win a game, you get a, another opportunity to be able to play on a, on a big stage. And the next stage is is. The, the peak of it all, the top of the mountain. So a lot of people would think that it's, you know, it gives you kind of a nervous, like a nerve wreck type feeling, or you're just really anxious. You know, all those things are, are you know, in place. You know, we're all human beings, but, you know, it's something that you gotta see. You never, to be honest with you, a lot of guys I've heard multiple times in the locker room, they never get an opportunity like this. Guys play five plus years in the league, they never see any playoff time at all, so. It's a blessing for me to be my second year to be able to have this opportunity. So I want to make sure you know, I seize it, not only me, but you know the rest of the guys feel the same way too. It's got to be mentally exhausting though. Leave aside all of the physical parts of what football is, but just from a mental standpoint, you guys must be kind of tired. Yeah, I mean, you could, I would be honest with you, I wouldn't even say we're tired. I would say, I feel like we got another boost of energy, man. Um, we don't want to have to go home and not take advantage of this opportunity. And I still want to be able to come in these, in the facility at 6.30 in the morning, still see the same faces, still see the janitors, still see the GM, still see my coaches and be able to, you know, be happy, you know, that's the main thing. And, you know, by doing that is is by winning. So it's a burst of energy for me, man. I love the fact that, you know, we we as as a whole, as an organization, are able to, you know, enjoy something like this. And, you know, once again, we got another chance this this week to be able to do that extended. 
the depth on the defensive side of the ball for this Titans team has been kind of impressive. It must be helpful to you guys being able to go out onto the field knowing that you trust anyone who's going to be out there, correct? Absolutely. Um, you know, kudos to the, the younger guys. Uh, I got a young guy next to me uh, right now, uh, David Long, who's been playing his best game all season. And guys that are filling in on defense, that are continuing to you know, play at a high level, that, that just makes your defense even that much more great knowing that regardless of any situation, regardless of you know, any injury, guys are willing to step up and be able to you know, leave off where everything was left off. So, you know, it's, it's very exciting and very, you know, for a guy that's been I'm able to be playing this whole season and not having injuries and knowing that I got a guy next to me that's able to play at the same level, it, it gives a boost of energy to the defense. That's a really good interview. Thanks. He's a really good football player. Yeah, Rashawn Evans, a special guy. The Titans getting ready for the AFC Championship game. John Robinson is in the hole right now, waiting to come on and give us the keys to a Titans victory. But on deck, let's look back at game one between these two teams on November the 10th. That's next on Titans All Access. Welcome back to Titans All Access. You know, Mike, I've been thinking throughout the show that it's interesting that the Tennessee Titans have drawn the Kansas City Chiefs as their AFC championship opponent when it was a win against the Chiefs in week 10 that turned the whole season around. It's true. Titans at that point were four and five. They had just lost at Carolina in what might have been their worst game of the entire season. So there's a lot of grumbling. The Titans are about to go into their bye week. They know lose this one and things get kind of negative. The second half of the season maybe is a struggle to the finish. So they got to win this ball game, right? Well, didn't look good early. Titans were down 10 nothing before you know it. Fortunately, Ryan Tannehill had other ideas. To the left on first and goal at the nine. Play fake, Tannehill firing back at the end zone. Berkser, what a catch. Touchdown, Titans. The Titans climbed back into the game with offense, but it was a defensive play that put them in front in the second quarter. They give it to Williams, running to the right, finds room through the middle, but the Titans find him, he loses the ball. Picked up by Evans, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, end zone, touchdown, Titans! Back and forth would be the day's theme. Tennessee's lead was short-lived, as Kansas City would score the game's next nine points and hold a 19-13 advantage in the third quarter. Derrick Henry would take center stage at this moment. Henry finished the day with 188 yards rushing and got a whole bunch of them on one play. Finds room up the middle. He's to the 35 to the 40. Midfield, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, and so. After the Chiefs missed an opportunity to kick a field goal to extend their five-point lead, Tannehill led the Titans on a furious march, which produced one of Nissan Stadium's most memorable touchdowns. Tannehill looking, looking, firing over the middle, caught, Humphreys five, Humphreys in zone, touchdown Titans! But Tennessee had left Mahomes too much time, and Mahomes did what Mahomes does. He led the Chiefs into field goal range for a tying attempt on the game's final play. Set, set, block, block. It's been picked up by Sims. It's blocked by Kalou. Joshua Kalou. Joshua Kalou. That was a great win for the Titans, an important win for the Titans. This one this week, round two with the Chiefs, more important. If you're okay with it, I'm going to bring John Robinson in that chair, and we're going to talk about the keys to an AFC Championship game win. Uh, yeah, I think that's okay. That right. sounds good. All right, so Amy Wells tags out. John Robinson tags in when Titans All Access continues. As promised, Amy Wells tags out. John Robinson, Titans GM, tags in on Titans All Access. Talking about the keys to knocking off the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. John, does Sunday start for Tennessee with trying to slow Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes? And if so, how do you do it? 
Yeah, he, he certainly makes it all go back there. You know, he's, he's, um, he's really athletic. Um, he, he's mobile, he can move, he gets himself out of sticky situations with extending plays when you pressure him. He's got a lot of firepower on that offense and he's got a cannon for an arm, so it certainly starts with him. Mahomes is a different player than Baltimore's Lamar Jackson, but I wonder, is the challenge still the same? And that is, keep the quarterback under control and limit big plays. Yeah, you do. You, you've, got, you've got to try to, to, to minimize the explosive plays that they make. They've got a ton of speed. Kelsey's an outstanding tight end. Tyree killed is, I mean, it's instant speed with that guy. He's so explosive. The back, Damon Williams is a good player. Sammy Watkins is playing really well right now. And then when you've got a trigger man like Mahomes back there, they can get out of pressure situations and let those guys uncover. It makes it tough on you. But we've got to do a really good job of minimizing those explosives. All right, John, finally, what are your keys to the Titans getting a win and winning the AFC Championship against the Chiefs in Kansas City on Sunday? Well, I think it all starts up front. You know, we've, we've got to win the line of scrimmage. We've talked about that week after week after week. Offensively for us, that, that allows us to set up the, the run game, which then you build the passing attack off that. Defensively, it's about stopping the run with those guys. Don't let Damian Williams get through there. Get some push on Mahomes. Make him feel some pressure. And it's rush and cover when it gets down to the passing situation. Good luck. Thank you, Mike. It's going to be outstanding. John Robinson with us on Titans All Access. For John and Amy Wells, Mike Keats says thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.